I think we are live. Uh, hey, everybody, if you happen to be watching live uh, or tuning in, uh, I have a cool special treat for you today. Uh, I decided uh, I just wrapped up something kind of top circuit. I can't tell you what we just wrapped up, but recorded a conversation with my good friend Laura Escade uh, for a top secret project I am working on. And uh, I thought after we got done with that, we'd just hop on uh, a Zoom call here and uh, just chat for a little bit. So I'm trying to make sure we're streaming anywhere. It looks like we are. So Laura, how are you doing over there? I'm, I'm awesome, Will. Thanks so much for Good. having me. Yeah, yeah. It was top secret. It was super top secret. Very top secret. I think, I think the folks will like it, uh, the folks listening at home. Uh, and I hope to have that, uh, some news on that in a couple weeks. But until then, uh, we get to all chat uh, over on looks like Facebook and YouTube and all those fun places. So if you guys want to share this, probably the best place to share it would be facebook.com slash from studio to stage. Uh, we're broadcasting over on the main page there as well as I believe YouTube. I'm trying to log in and check. That's the thing. Uh, Laura, you've been doing a lot of live streaming stuff late, lately, haven't you, Laura? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's always like the, at the very beginning, you know, you're like, okay, can can everyone just hold on a second while I figure it out all yeah. the things if everything's streaming and like that's right doing the the Ableton certified trainer meetup thing on Saturday mornings at 11 PST yeah. and and so that's been that's been cool and I've been streaming to Facebook and YouTube so I understand what you're doing right now so that's yes. why I'm like okay I'm gonna talk a little bit to get to cover him because I don't think many people understand like what is happening right now like you're like okay I gotta make sure it's all going out to the right places and then once it is then we're good <laughs> that's right the sheer panic of oh my gosh I hope everything's working and it looks like it is so yeah. I think I can officially stop rambling and yeah, th yeah. thank you for covering um <laughs> Andrew uh, Andrew Hunter says hi, and he says he loves episodes with Laura. So there you go, Laura. Oh, you, you got a fan. Amazing. So Andrew, thanks for being here uh, again. If you guys happen to be watching live, uh, man, we we'd love to uh, post any questions you have in the chat for Laura, and I will ask those. Um, like I mentioned earlier, as I was awkwardly checking to make sure we're streaming everywhere we need to, um, that uh, we are just going to chat for a little bit. We wrapped up a, a top secret conversation earlier that you guys will hear more about uh, later. But um, thank you guys for being on and hopping on. Uh, Josh says, hey, good to see you, Josh. Um, and so, uh, Laura, for the like one person in the world that doesn't know who you are, um, <laughs> can you introduce yourself and let us know uh, who you are and what you do? I'm Laura Escade. I'm an artist, entrepreneur, playback artist, playback engineer, programmer, big nerd. <laughs> and I mean, we should mention too, you are the very first Ableton Live certified trainer ever. Yes, it's true. Yes. It's very when, true. While Mike McKnight may have invented playback, you <laughs> had you invented Ableton certified training. So there you go. You have that. Uh, yes, in a way. I mean, I won't take all the credit for it, but um, uh, you know, I was there. I was there. That's awesome. That That's like great. That. Well, you paved the way for folks like me and and a, a few other people. So thank you for that. So yeah. Um. Well, this Absolutely. this is gonna be fun. So what I thought we'd do for maybe thirty minutes or so is. Um, just chat a bit about, um, you know, kind of what you do and particularly what you've been up to recently. And I know you have a couple of cool things um, coming up. Um, and uh, and then again, if anyone that happens to be watching has any questions, uh, feel free to drop those in. Zach says that you're Yoda. Um, <laughs> and Josh, Josh says he can't believe Laura is on here, which I don't know if that means like you're really awesome or I'm really not awesome. <laughs> I'm not sure where we equalize on that one, Josh. Now nah, I'm just messing around. But um, so let's start here. And again, if you guys have any questions in the chat, feel free to, to drop those in. Um, so obviously in the world of playback, you know, you're doing that live on stage or off stage, right? With all these artists. Well, with everything being like shut down, what what is what does your life look like over the past four weeks and um how, how have you pivoted from being on stage doing playback to what you're doing now and kind of what does that look like? Yeah. So, you know, for those of you that don't know me, you know, I have a, a company called Electronic Creatives and we do playback for different artists and you know, it's crazy because the timing of all this, I just spent the last like eight months or so like really like going ham in the business and like getting the processes and procedures and like 
everything just down and you know we've gotten our, our systems so tight and our team so tight and you know I'd hired more team than I had ever had and you know hired a CFO for the first time and you know just like really leveled up quite a bit and I had invested mm. a lot in the in the business you know and um, so when all of this went down um, yeah about five weeks ago now I would say a little over five and a half um, since I've been quarantined um, I had to make some quick decisions you know mm. and it literally was like over the course of a couple days um, we just lost show after show and you know mm. just uh, I think just like everyone you know it's, it's like we, we weren't special or anything it just all of a sudden people just started canceling shows and um i just started seeing you know the amount of money that the company was going to make in the next you know year basically <laughs> just go from a certain amount to like pretty much nothing hmm. um and so you know that was really hard that was really hard uh i had to make some quick decisions to lay people off you know and you know, it's, it's, it's just heartbreaking, you know, because these people are like my, my family, my friends, like people that I've, you know, been working with since they were interns and people that I've put on and given opportunities. And so, you know, it's definitely, it's been a challenge for sure. Um, but, and also I was supposed to be doing American Idol right now and, mm. um, I just bought, um, a new, Maddie rig that was put together by this guy Dan Burns who's uh, Taylor Swift's um, main stage guru nice. and engineer and you know we spent like a month like designing it exactly the, the way that I wanted it and you know it was quite expensive and it was like just it's beautiful like it's just beautiful and so I, you know, of course, thought that I was going to be renting that to American Idol. I thought I mm. had a job. I thought, you know, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, we, yeah, there's no American Idol for you. I mean, they, they still are, you know, kind of ke keeping the show running in, in certain ways. But yeah, so it was just like, it was like, wow, like this is insane. Just yeah. like everyone else, you know, just like everyone else. But, you know, I had created my online stuff you know about two years ago I kind of started on the journey of you know creating my online courses and platforms and um, really I mean we started with master track which wasn't online but we used a lot of like online uh, marketing to get people to, mm. to come to that that was our our playback engineering um, course and that was live in person and we had two iterations of that and uh, we, s we still will have it. We're going to have it in the fall, but, you know, we just decided to kind of, you know, hold off time being on that. Um, and so, but I'd created Transmute, which is my live performance design program. And I created that about a year and a half ago. And that all was already online. So <coughs> we were planning on running Transmute again this spring anyway. And so you know, um, doing a lot of live streaming master classes and because uh, a lot of people were wondering about live streaming right now. And, uh, and I'm thankful that I spent a lot of energy and time in the past year just going in deep on live streaming and um, online education and online performance and all that kind of stuff because um, it really, you know, has helped me, especially in the last month because I've just hmm just kind of pivoted to really focusing just on that and you know in a way I mean obviously it's it's extremely challenging because you know with EC and the business like that it just isn't happening you know right now I mean we're still you know keeping up with certain things but um but you know I'm excited in a way to be able to just focus on you know like like literally one thing because <laughs> I'm used to focusing on a lot of different things at once and so now i'm like yeah. okay like th you know i'm at home like everyone else like i'm online like everyone else i'm just doing what i can to just share my knowledge and you know get people to um you know level up their skills and then if they want to come join me further and 
work with me and transmute you know that's that's awesome as well and you know we actually have we're, we're kind of almost all the way filled up we do we still do have like um about five or so spots left for transmute it's a very you know small um niche program we have about 15 to 20 people in it but um nice that yeah starts in in two weeks um okay yeah and so that's been that's been super fun to kind of like ramp up to that because i've been getting on a lot of zooms with people and sharing a lot of knowledge and um and then next week we've also got um a free three-day event that i'm doing called design your dream online live show on archives which i've worked with both of them on their shows and and uh dressage keely was um went through transmute version of transmute and then sudan i worked with on her show so it's gonna be a cool little event because we're gonna like peek back under the hood of what we worked on with their projects and you know get to show the folks out there what's going on so if anyone out there is is watching this and wants to attend you can find out the information on my website or you know from my socials and it's uh, it's all free it's a three-day event it's all free it's all just a you know to share during this time and you know obviously you've been doing a lot of that too we've been both doing a lot of just sharing our knowledge right now because yeah you know people want to figure out what's next for them as well and you know if, we, if i can help be a, a catalyst and help people um with their with their path and journey you know that just lights me up and it always has and that's you know from creating my company to you know what i'm doing now it just really is what drives me is to just have others on the journey with me and you know we're all leveling up together that's right <clears throat> and i if you guys are watching this live or the the recording it happens to be before april 27th i posted the link uh, in the chat Amazing. to to that okay. so uh check that out and again it's free it's three days sounds awesome um i think that's that's a perfect segue to to something else i wanted to ask you and then i want to come back and talk about the like business side for a moment yeah um totally. you know i i've seen a similar thing with me where um because i have a you know primarily online business um, you know, uh, business, like there's been some stability there, which is great where I know a lot of people don't have that, you know, and I'm incredibly thankful and feel blessed. Um, and so I want to talk in a, a bit about what we can do to like encourage people on how to get started in that. So we'll come back to that, mm -hmm. but before, hopefully I remember if, if I forget, maybe, okay. Yeah. <laughs> remind me. Um, but I think the live stream you're doing the three day event here, uh, here soon, um, uh, is a perfect setup to this. How do you think once all this craziness is over, how do you think this is going to change? Uh, maybe we look at this at two parts. How's this going to change live shows, but how, how is it going to change and maybe, uh, tied into this? This is a really deep question. So maybe we're breaking it into parts, but, um, how, how's it going to change live shows going forward to how will this change for playback techs like yourself or people that want to get into this field? Do you feel like now is the time to pivot to like, you need to know live streaming and how to help artists do that. What does that look like in your mind? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, <laughs> if I had a crystal ball and I could, you know, yeah. see into the future. Um, but I really, I think we kind and I, and I'm kind of keeping my eggs in a couple of different baskets, you know, as mm -hmm. I always mm -hmm. tend to do. Um, and I'm glad that I had my eggs in a couple of baskets coming into this, you know, and I didn't, wasn't just like kind of what happens, you know, on the other side of this. I, I really don't know if there's going to be any, you know, major shows this year. Mm. Um, I mean, it seems like from what we've read um, that it's going to be probably until there's a vaccine um, or just more rigorous testing until there are shows again. Um, I was speaking with someone yesterday and they did comfort me because they said, um, well, sports teams have a lot more to lose, right? Because there's big money in sports, you know, and so um, they're going to figure it out. <laughs> they're going to figure it out and they're going to figure it out first. And then the concert industry is going to be like, OK, like whatever they're doing, we're doing um whether it's you know social distancing at the shows testing you know thermal testing i mean i know that in asia now they're doing um like 
body scans in like certain countries, which seems just crazy. But, um, you know, I, I, I do believe we're going to get back to a place where we will have shows again. I mean, how can we not? I mean, it's, it's just a part of our culture, you know, and I, I, I personally, I'm excited to see a socially distant mosh pit happen. That's going to be really, really fun. So in crowd surfing, socially distant crowd surfing. Sorry, I interrupted yeah. to tell a really dumb joke. I'll yeah, let you keep yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, there's those people out there that, um, you know, they're having these protests right now. So, you know, they, those people would probably go to a show. Oh, yeah. They're, they're ready. They're ready. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think it really just remains to be seen. And I think it's... Um, you know, I think it's important for people to kind of keep their options open right now. So, you know, right now I'm obviously really focused on the online space. I'm focused on live streaming. I'm focused on helping artists with their live streaming setups. I'm focused on myself doing a lot of live streaming, whether it's, you know, education or performing online. And, you know, it's, it's also an exciting time. I mean, it's, I think it's at a time for opportunity as well. I mean, if, if you choose to, to, look at this time in that way it's a, a time to level up your skills in whatever area that you want to level them up it's it's the time to do you know what you're called to do and what in your heart of hearts like you would like to be doing on the other side of this and you know obviously like resources are tight right now for a lot of people I mean some people you know can invest and they've saved and you know they've got jobs still or whatever and then there's other people that can't you know, and so that, I think that's why, you know, for me, I've, I've tried to give as many resources as I can, you know, for the, the varying levels of people who are like, okay, I need help, but, you know, I can't afford to work with you right now. And like, okay, here's like my master classes I'm doing. And then there's the people that want to go all in and really want to work with me. And then, you know, they're doing transmute. So it's like, I think finding your like the level of, you know, what you can, what you have to give right now. Um, and just in giving, I, I see a lot of people giving right now, which is great. And then, you know, of course, asking for um, something in return, at, you know, after giving and or um, inviting people to come join their program, you know, after giving. And I think um, for for people out there that, you know, are looking at new avenues I mean, there's there's ways to make money online, if that speaks to you. Um, there's ways to, you know, partner with other people. Um, there's ways to just like really take this time to just learn and, and educate yourself. So, um, you know, I think again, I don't have a crystal ball, but shows will come back at some point and maybe this online space, I mean, maybe the, the boom is, is here to stay. I mean, a lot of people are like, Hey, I like being at home and in my, uh, it's, <laughs> It's, it's funny. I've been talking from the beginning, um, kind of when, when I started trying to do like the live streaming thing and I've, I, for a while I was live streaming every day and I just realized that's too much. And, uh, so I've kind I of slowed. I was admiring you. I was like, oh my gosh. You, well, I, I, I got to, too. yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot. And I, I got to one day where I was just like, I have nothing to say. So I, I think I just hopped on and like made something up, but, uh, and I've seen others do that. So I didn't feel as guilty, right. but um, you know, I think, I think it really does. And again, I always try to temper this with like, I know there are people that are really, really hurting. I know there's people that are like sick. They've lost family members due, due to yeah. the virus. Um, so I, I tempered this with that, but I also think it really is about like making a choice and deciding, um, this happened to me or because this occurred, I'm going to make this happen now. And I, I do, you know, I've seen folks like Mike who signed up as a subscriber to the site, um, I, Mike, I know you're watching this. I think it was about a month ago and he's like, this is time for me to level up and level up my skills as a, as a playback engineer. Um, and folks that are uh, Easton, uh, Ikona, that's, uh, I mean, he's like an IT pro now, uh, that he's a subscriber as well too. And I think he's, he's, you know, taking all these IT courses and leveling up his skills. But I do think it's a time to, um, to, yeah, like this is a chance to level up or this is a chance to do the thing you've been dreaming about doing for a long time. Cause it's kind of like at this point, like, what do you have to lose? You know, if, if, yeah. if you're m making nothing now and you've got nothing to do, it's like, um, you know, why not? Like, let's, let's start that thing. Um, maybe on that point, let's jump back to where we were before. Um, how, how, I mean, you kind of hinted at this, but how important has having an online business and online presence prior to this really helped you? 
And what encouragement do you have to people watching this that um, are scared of doing that or they feel like I have nothing to say or no one's going to pay me to hear me teach this or do that? Um, and um, what, what would your encouragement be to them? You know, really just tune in and to yourself and ask yourself, is this really what I want? Because I think I've gone down many paths in my life where I'm like, I could do that. You know, I could do this. And I've started to go down that path. I'm like, this does not feel right to me and who I am. And, and just because you can build an online business and you can go live doesn't mean you should. You know, there's certain those of us uh, that like to be in the spotlight like I do. I like to I'm pretty um, in, engaging, I think, with people and I like to um, be extroverted and I like to show my knowledge and share my knowledge and, you know, do things. And so it's kind of natural for me, you know, to be in the online space and, and, and doing this kind of thing. And it seems like will for you as well. Like you're natural at communicating and talking with people and we've both have been presenting and, and doing things for a long time. And then there's those people that are maybe more introverted and, you know, they, you don't like to be in the spotlight. You don't want to be on camera Maybe, um, you know, y you, well, you could do a podcast instead, but like maybe you, uh, it's not your life stream or passion to like have a personal brand, you know, or like to have a company. Um, not everyone needs to, to build something like that. You know, sometimes I, <laughs> I'm like, why did I build all this stuff? Cause it's, it's a lot, you know, it's a lot to keep up with and keep track of but I mean it's yeah. exciting at the same time but it's like once you get into it you know you're like oh my gosh like I didn't expect that I was gonna have to like spend this much time on email or like this much time you know doing like behind the scenes stuff that has nothing to do with Ableton Live or like nothing to do with playback or like performing and you know so it's definitely like stuff to you know keep in mind because like having an online business and 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 being online and just having a business in general unless you have like that business partner who's just like you know the business brain and is like handling all the things or you have like a great person on your team you know uh, that can handle things for you it's it, it can be challenging because like you know a lot of creatives i feel like they're very creative i'm a creative as well i love to create and then I get frustrated, you know, cause then I get kind of stuck at doing some things that I don't necessarily want to do. So I would just like, you know, if you're considering jumping into this space, just like really take stock of like who you are. I mean, I've done a lot of like, um, like personality tests over the past year. I've done like, you know, strengths finder and something called wealth dynamics and, you know, um, like just all of the 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 main personality tests um that you can do and just to learn uh, more about myself and like know myself a little bit more and know like what propels me and what drives me and you know i encourage you to do the same i, I actually have a list of them if anyone wants to like send me a dm i'll i'll, I'll shoot you the list of, of personality tests a lot of them are free um but really for me it's like it's been figuring out what brings me joy, like what really truly brings me joy. Cause you know, again, I have a lot of interest. I could do a lot of things, but like when I sit there and I, and I listen to myself, like what is, what are the things that truly bring me joy? And I got involved in a process called the joy money matrix last year. And now a facilitator in that. And it's like a two day process of taking stock of like everything that you're doing in your life. And then, really going in deep and, and discovering, you know, do these things bring me joy? Do these things bring me money? What, what are those things that are the mostly bringing me joy and money? And like, what are the, my highest things? And it's like a quadrant basically. And you put stickies all over this board. It's super fun. And I just, I realized like, okay, the, the sweet spot for me, like the main things that I love are performing, educating and creating, you know, those are the main things that I love to do. And so for me, like now everything that I do is like, I pass it through that lens, you know, I'm like, okay, is it any of these things? Okay. 
no, it's not. Well, then I'm not going to do that. But it took me a while to, to get here, you know, and it took me a while to kind of like know myself more. And, and I'm still like learning more and more about myself every day. Um, but, you know, I would just say like for people who are considering it, just really like be sure that you want to do it. Because otherwise, take this time to like just learn a bunch of stuff because then someone can hire you to like help them out. Because like people like me, like I need help, you know, like I need people to help me with, you know, certain certain things with my business, you know, that I don't necessarily want to do or enjoy doing or I'm not an expert in. And what I've learned is like being able to like call on the people that are the experts in the, in that area, you know, at a, at a certain time is is really is really beneficial. So, I mean, I guess I could go on and on and on about that, but <laughs> No, that's great. I think um when you were talking about uh, the authenticity of like, know who you are and what you want to do. Um, it reminded me, and this is maybe a bit of shameless promotion, but it reminded me of last week's podcast episode with my buddy, uh, Matt Salsamendi is the co-founder of Mixer, which is a live streaming company for gamers. And he talked about like, um, the, the premise of the episode is what can musicians learn from gamers? Cause gamers have been live streaming their performances for years and years and musicians are suddenly like, Oh, I got to figure this out. And one of the things he was talking about was just like the authenticity of, uh, you know, being who you are, or at least figuring out what your brand is. And I know for some people you, um, I don't know if you're like me, but I, I, um, get, I'm kind of at this point where I'm like sick and fed up of the internet marketing world. You know, I think it's like oversaturated and I think they use a lot of the same tricks and, um, on one hand, I'm going, well, if I use some of those same tricks, I probably would be making more money than I'm making now. But um, I also have, you know, I had a defining moment last year uh, chatting with someone and I, I couldn't put my finger on like what just felt so icky about like making YouTube videos. You know, and I make tutorials all the time. We both do tutorials and training stuff all the time. You know, it's not that it's the idea of like, um, it's the idea of like, I don't want to, and this guy kind of said it, he's like, you don't want to be a YouTuber. And I'm like, yeah, I don't want to be a YouTuber. Like I'll put my content on YouTube, but I don't want to be a YouTuber. So, um, anyway, I, that, that episode with Matt, I think was really, really good. Um, and, um, and, and was great. And so this is where I pause in the pre-recorded video to, uh, fake, to make people think it's live to answer Eddie, to say, Eddie, yes, this is live. Uh, and uh, getting Zoom into Restream, uh, this is via the live custom, what's it called, Love, live custom streaming settings yeah. in Zoom, which you have to enable uh, by default, which I went about a year not realizing you could do that. So, yeah, Eddie, uh, check out <clears throat> when you log into Zoom. I think you have to do it in the web portal, right? I don't think you can do it in the app to enable it initially, I think. Yeah, but. you just have to log into Restream and then choose uh you know the, the different platforms you want to stream to and then in zoom you just go down to the three dots and then say custom you know streaming. custom streaming service yeah 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 yeah. there you go that's how you do it <laughs> we're, we're teaching folks how to live stream um shout out to tanner who is uh, from studio station he said that's exactly what i'm doing now just learning music director role for an artist um and using the downtime and time at home to beef up my skills so good for you tanner that's the that's the way to do it. That's what we got to do. Eddie, thanks for being here, even though I'm, I'm making jokes. But, you know, that's that's how you know I love you when I make make jokes. <laughs> um, so we, we briefly mentioned uh, as we started the stream, the Design Your Dream online live show uh, yeah. coming up here soon. Uh, can you, uh, as we kind of start to wrap up, can you explain uh, who should be there, like what that's for and kind of the main vision for that event? Yeah. So uh, as I mentioned, I have three, well, including myself, two other guest artists that are going to be there, um, Dressage and Sudan Archives, both uh, incredible artists that I've worked with in different capacities. Um, it's really for anyone who wants to take this time to level up their live performance skills, whether it's, you know, live streaming li live performance skills or live in person in the future again. Um, it's an event to really just kind of like peek behind the curtain of my personal live performance set as well as the live performance sets of these two um, artists and to kind of go through the the three different um, tenets of of what i consider my live show design to be and that's envision design and perform so to show how um, i 
go about envisioning how a live show should be designed um, from the ground up and then going to the next phase, which is actually designing it. So um, putting together all the, the pieces, the, you know, which instruments and controllers, how you're going to perform, whether it's improvisational or not, um, all the just different like tips and tricks and um, different crazy um, ideas that we throw at it. And, and, you know, when I work with an artist and they've got this idea to do, you know, um, like loop a section, but it's uh, not looped exactly the same way all the way through. And what do you do when, you know, they want to do it two and a half times and then go to this other loop, you know, just like figuring out how to make all that stuff happen. Um, so that's like the design section. And then the, the third day is going to be perform. And so I'm going to show my performance setup and then and do a performance of all my, my stuff here. So yeah, it's next week. Um, it's uh, Monday through Wednesday and it's going to be a lot of fun. So and you said it's RSVP. completely free, right? It's completely free. Yeah. yeah. So you can RSVP. It's on my website. Um, and uh, if you follow me on socials as well, if you have any questions. But yeah, definitely just RSVP, sign up, come join us. We're going to have a Zoom party. It's another Zoom party, another nerdy nice. Zoom party. But yeah, it's going to be super fun. And then on the heels of that, um, the following week, my Transmute Accelerator starts. So um, we've got a couple of spots left for that as well, if anyone's interested. That's a like eight-week deep dive into live performance design. It's literally like all the knowledge that I've gained over the past however many years of doing this and putting it all into a program and um, guiding artists step by step into designing their show and we've got you know uh, two performances throughout uh, the the process and you know it was already all online and so we're just you know doing the same thing that we've done before but now we're adding so much many more resources for live streaming so those artists that are really like how do I do all this live streaming stuff? Well, it's all included in Transmute. So it's going to be That's fun. awesome. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So I think if you're watching this as, uh, as an artist or as someone that's more technical, that feels like you could help serve artists in doing this, like, please, please join um, next week for the, the, the three day event. And then definitely check out uh, Transmute Accelerator. Tanner said, that sounds killer. Tanner, I would highly suggest registering because I think you'll, you'll dig it. So um, David is a great question. And then I have a question to, to wrap us up. Um, so David's question is uh, running a business and optimizing creative outputs can be a challenge. Um, what items do you seem to always need extra help with, i.e. marketing, prospect, awareness, curious as to your mindset? Mm, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, as I mentioned before, I've, I've, I'm a creative and I'm also, you know, can switch back and forth between left brain, right brain pretty easily. I've discovered that's one of my talents. Um, it's not necessarily the best for like complete and utter focus because I can tend to, you know, bounce around from idea to idea. Um, obviously, like when I'm doing a gig like playback, I'm able to focus. But like, you know, when I'm creating, it's like there's a lot of stuff to create. So um, having people around me that are more... Um, into like systems and process has been really like key for me because like you should see like my Evernote and like all of the stuff I've got like ideas <laughs> and then I have to like real rein myself in because I'm like okay that's a good idea but right now I need to focus on you know x y and z so having someone around who's like really good with you know systems and process and like taking my ideas and like putting them into a way a format that we can replicate time and time again that's what i've realized like i have i really need that and you know i've hired quite a few people in the last year to like help me with all that stuff especially with the business you know like because the process was all like in my head right and that doesn't do anyone any good so now just getting the process out of my head or out of my evernote or google docs or wherever and like having it in a flow i think that's definitely key um you know people that know stuff about finance finance and money and you know especially when you grow your business to a certain point like you kind of need someone to come in and be like okay like you got to make this many sales a month and like this is what you need to do your hit your target goals and like you know, becomes more like than you can kind of do yourself. And so 
you know, I definitely have like relied on more people in the financial realm in the last, you know, couple of years to, to help me figure that stuff out. Um, as well as people to, you know, help with like the social media, especially of like, you know, EC and business as it's grown. Like, you know, I meant, I did everything and wore all the hats for many different years. And then, you know, finding people to kind of help uh, lend a hand in, with the, the sales and marketing aspects. And, you know, like I used to be on every single sales call talking to every single person. And it was like, okay, like having people that are really love to do that and, and, and love to talk about our services, um, you know, is, is, has been key for me as well. So I would say like project manager type people, like definitely always useful, like people that are like producers in the sense that they love to like produce events or produce concepts or ideas or just like get everything tight. Um, I think those are the main, main people that I need around me, uh, being, you know, the individual that I am. I hope that's that awesome. The question. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great question, David. And I think that's a great response, Laura. Um, well, I want to wrap up with one question personally for myself, uh, and, <clears throat> and also a, uh, a brag on you. So last oh. year when I did my playback Academy event, um, and you reached out and said, Hey, I'd love to come. I think this would be really, really cool. Um, and it was awesome having you there. It was awesome, you know, the stuff you, you know, you shared. We had kind of the uh, behind the scenes kind of kind of peek into uh, your setup and a couple of shows you had done, which was really cool. And all, all the attendees, when they reached out, everyone was like, oh, that was awesome. That's the best part. And I was like, come on, man. It was my event. It wasn't Laura's event. But I digress. But uh, having you there, you know, and even while you were there, a buddy, I think I mentioned this at the event, a buddy in my text me was like, holy crap, Laura Escada is at Playback Academy. And I said, yeah, you could have come too, man. Uh, you know, the, the link worked for you as well. Um, <clears throat> but what, what stood out to me with you being there is like, yes, you are the first Ableton Live certified trainer. You've done playback for, you know, uh, for Kanye West, for huge artists. Like, and you run a company that basically does playback for everyone. But what stuck out to me was the humility of you going like, there's still stuff for me to learn. There's still things that I don't know. And I'm willing to be humble enough to learn from someone that um, that, you know, you know, you very easily could have gotten up and, and taught that whole thing. Um, so, you know, one kudos to you and anyone watching this like that, that impacted me because I'm like, man, what stuff could I go to that I could really learn from? Um, but to, to wrap up, how important is training and learning and learning new skills? Um, you know, how important is that to you? Man, it's everything. I mean, thank you so much for saying that. I mean, I, it was awesome to be at your event and, you know, I'm constantly looking for opportunities to learn and everyone that I meet has got some nugget of knowledge, you know, that, that they can impart onto someone else, you know, that we don't know everything and it's impossible to know. And like, you know, for me, I feel like I operated in a vacuum for so many years because I literally just knew playback the way that I had done it myself and I didn't really have other people to like bounce ideas off of now now there's more so you know a community of people that are doing this but when I first was starting and for many years like I didn't know I just had to figure it all out myself there were no like tutorial videos or people to talk to very few people to talk to there was there was definitely a couple um but you know so yeah I'm like not above anything like <laughs> I'm like I'm like I'll go hang out you know wherever if I feel like I'm gonna learn something new you know because I just like I I feed off of that and 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 at the same token like I love to help other people and I love to be in other people's communities and that's like why you know I went to Playback Academy and you know at the end I was like man I'm gonna sign up for Will's membership, you know, cause this is awesome. Like he knows a bunch of stuff about, you know, like I connectivity, you know, he, you've gone super deep into all that. And yeah, I know some stuff and like, I'm in, but you've definitely like gone in deeper in that realm than I have. And so I was like, okay, like I want to learn about this stuff more the further. And I'm going to like go check out, you know, Will's like videos and become a member of his community. And, um, you know, I think it's just important to like support one another 
you know, obviously we're here and like some people might be like, yeah, but you're like competitors or whatever. And it's like, no, like not, not at all. Like we're helping each other. And I think if we all help each other, you know, rise up, like there's more than enough for, you know, everyone. And it's just important for me to like continue to give back the knowledge that I have. And I've done that for, for many, many years. And people have said, well, why are you, you know, doing this free thing or whatever? And it's like, because I just want to show people that it's possible. You know, I want to be an example of what's possible for, and if I just touch like one person, you know, who's like, man, like that really inspired me. Like that's just, that's just what I live for. So. That's yeah. awesome. And I, I have to say of a lot of communities I'm a part of, it feels like the playback community is very much open-handed and very much like, you know, I see people that, again, like you said, could be considered, you know, competition or yeah. different people that own different playback companies, always inter in interfacing and interacting with each other, like trying to help each other go further faster, which I think is is awesome. Um, and Laura, thank you for doing this. this yeah, is, of course. Thanks for having me. Been this has been nice awesome. To see everyone so, out there. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys uh, for being a part of this on YouTube and Facebook. And um, where can people follow and find you to stay up to, to, to what you're doing? Um, you know, I just realized that there is a different URL for the Design Your Dream Live show. I'm going to chat it to you here. If you cool, perfect. Post it. I, I don't know where all of the places it's all that you're streaming this to. You know, I, 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 I like have my eyes on like one or two different threads of where this is streaming to. But yeah, if you could put post this in the um, chat to perfect. all these, that'd be great. Um, sorry, what was your question? Though? Uh, so where can people, you know, first off, registering for this, uh, for the Design Your Dream live show. But yeah. uh, besides that, where can people find you and kind of follow along with what you're up to? I'm mostly, I'm on Facebook and Instagram. So definitely, you know, shoot me a friend request here. Um, if you're friends with Will, <laughs> I'll accept you. <laughs> um, I'm on Instagram a lot. Um, yeah, basically Facebook and Instagram. Um, I am doing the Ableton Certified Trainer Masterminds on Saturday mornings at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And that is streamed to my Facebook and also my YouTube. Um, so definitely if you're like into like super nerdy stuff, stop by because it's like two hours of like gold information. And th the reason why I organize these is like kind of selfish because I want to learn from all the other certified trainers and it's like a just a place for us all to like you know help one another level up so that's that's super fun but yeah Instagram Facebook all the things you know awesome I'm awesome out, I'm out here I'm out here in the internet <laughs> yes all over the internet and, and all sorts of places well yeah. Laura again thank you so much uh Thanks, this Will. has been fun thank you guys for watching along uh, if you have any questions after the fact just post them in the chat and um and we'll try to get to them in, in the, the five or six different places we were, we were live streaming at once. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, if uh, you want to reach out afterwards and say, hey, we'd, we'd love to connect with you. But this has been fun. And uh, you guys have a great day. We'll see you.